today we are doing our Thursday conversations with the fashionista professor and as I indicated during these conversations I'm gonna go ahead and try and answer some of the questions that you guys sent to me via uh, DM on Instagram and on Facebook and some of the comments that you guys you know left on my post on Instagram and so today I am gonna talk about my first time seeing snow so because one of the one of the um, subscribers uh, asked me how I felt you know seeing snow for the first time and uh, so usually you know when you travel um, you know Nigerians love to travel a lot especially the ones that are well off or something like that and so when you travel you usually travel in summer and so you know you don't get to catch winter so the first year I came to America and it snowed. Oh my God, I woke up and the outside of the house was covered with snow. I was like, la, this is so fabulous. And so I ran out of the house and I was rolling around in the snow. I was eating it. I was, um, actually, I, ju I don't know whether I have any pictures of that. But anyway, I was eating the snow. I was touching it to my face and stuff like that. So I was pretty excited to see snow. The problem came later when I had to drive in the snow. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you guys know like how you drive in the snow and you put on the brakes and you sort of feel your car sliding. That freaks me out. And to this day, I hate I still hate driving in the snow and I'm so lucky that Tennessee does not have a lot of snow because I don't know what I will do. Um, one time I was coming back from the university, I think it was about a couple of years ago or something like that. I was coming back from the university and I was driving a Ford Excursion. It has all this overdrive, four wheel drive, all that. And uh, <laughs> I got to the beginning of uh, my street is actually quite a long street about four miles um, so I got to the beginning and um, I think I inadvertently hit the brakes and I felt the excursion sort of you know like how you hit the brakes and you feel the car the tire sort of slide a little bit I mean that freaked me out so I parked at the side of the road and um, I was there, you know, for about 30 minutes. I mean, I didn't know what I was going to do. I was too scared to drive. I, I was just freaked out, you know, just because I felt my tires, you know, sort of slide on the road. So I freaked out. So <laughs> I was at that side of the road for a while. And then this guy pulled up be beside me and he was like, uh, Mom, are you OK? And I was like, yeah, 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 it's just that. I'm too scared to drive. I mean, the snow is freaking me out. I hate driving in the snow. And, you know, I don't know what to do. I'm freaked out. And he was like, okay, hold on for a few minutes. I'm going to drive home and have my neighbor drive me out to you. And then I'll drive you home. So I said, okay. So 30 minutes passed, I did not see him, I was like, la la, maybe he's just not coming back, maybe he just say that um, to give me peace of mind. And, but lo and behold, he came back. And um, so he came back, it, his neighbor was driving a car, it was a little SUV, I think it was a Honda SUV or something like that. And so he got out of the car and got into my car so he I, you know he was driving my Ford Excursion and uh, we kept driving you know my my street you know has ups and downs so it curves ups and down so we got to the next uh, down and then he started going down I don't know I freaked out I grabbed him I was like oh no please 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 don't don't, don't stop 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 and he was like, it's okay, it's okay, oh, it's okay, we can make it. I said, no, 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 please, please, please stop. I, I'm freaking out. So he said, okay, he was going to drive me back home. So I said, okay. So he drove my excursion to his house and packed it. 
and uh, <laughs> and so he said that you know we were gonna go ahead and take his SUV so he told his neighbor thank you he was gonna drive me home with his SUV so I parked my car Uh, in his driveway and um, I, I, I kept the keys with me and I got my computer bag and my office bag and then we got into his car and um, so he drove me home and it was a little bit scary because like you go down and I'll see the snow and I'll be freaking out because I'm thinking ooh la la the sky is just gonna slide the sky is just gonna slide I mean of course it is like on me you know maybe he was just a very good driver or something like that but anyway he got me to my property he got to the bottom of the hill and he was like okay i'm gonna drive you up the hill and i'm like no 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 no, please no 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 and he was like i can't have you lady walking up the hill by yourself i said no no no, no. i'll call my kids you know no, no no don't worry i'll be okay i'll call my kids i'll come and get my bags and then we can walk up the hill and so he dropped me off and he gave me his card and I thanked him profusely because I was very, very grateful. I, I don't know how I would have gotten home. Um, I don't know. I don't know what I would have done. And the funny thing is that my ex-boyfriend was out of town, so he couldn't come and get me because usually he would come and get me. And so that was how I got home and I called my kids and they came and helped me up the hill with my um, office bag and lap, lap, uh, laptop bag. And so it was very, very interesting. I really, really appreciated that gesture. I really, really appreciated that kindness because I don't know what I would have done had he not stopped by. And the funny thing was that um, a few months later, <laughs> I, was, I was coming back from the university and um, I think I might have been speeding a little bit, you know, I was going down the incline, I can't remember what the speed limit was, but I think I was going a little bit fast. And so, something like, I heard, Woo! I was like, oh, but anyway, I'm, I'm trying not to curse. And so I was like, oh my God. And so I stopped and the police car stopped behind me and a gentleman walked out of the car and I was like, oh, I'm sorry, officer. You know, my, my students are gonna be so flabbergasted when I told them that I got stopped again, especially after I told them that I'm now really good at driving. And he said to me, you don't remember me? And I was looking at his face. I mean, I couldn't remember him. I could not. I said, are you one of my former students? Uh, do you work at the university? Uh, have I met you before? And he said, do you remember there was a day I was coming back from work and there was a certain young lady that was parked in her Ford Excursion by the side of the road because she was too afraid to drive in the snow. I said, oh my God, so that was you. And he said, yeah, I was like, oh my God, oh my God. I really, really appreciated what you did. I said, you must come to my class and speak to my class. And um, I got his card again, and uh, he said to me, you know, you have to slow down. The speed limit here is 30 miles per hour, and you were going almost 50 miles per hour. I said, yeah, I think it was the downward velocity of the slope that was pulling me down. He said, yeah, next time, just watch it. And I was like, thank you very much. And so, yeah, I happened to see the guy twice and he happened to be a police officer. And I mean, what a coincidence, right? I will never, ever forget his kindness. So if you are watching, officer, I'm not gonna say your name. If you are watching from the bottom of my heart, thank you for that fabulous act of kindness that day that I was too scared to drive home because of the snow. But anyway, so that's it for today. I just wanted to share this story. I wanted to do a quick vlog today. Um, 
and uh, next vlog or next conversation with a fashionista professor i'll get back into more details about some of the other questions that you guys have asked me so but for now let's go ahead and do a review of this fabulous fabulous blue outfit and um, hopefully there will not be a wardrobe malfunction so let's go ahead and do the fashionista professor wrong way walk dance of his music
fashionista professor modeling of this fabulous fabulous um sequin blue outfit from Shein. let me try it without the belt and you guys let me know what you say. with the fashionista professor on Thursdays and the one of a fab review and so let me know which you prefer do you prefer this gown with the belt the black belt or do you prefer it without the belt you guys know I love belts <laughs> I will belt everything if I could so let me know what you think so this blue gown is from uh, Shein I believe and um, it has sequins all over. It does have some stretch. This is a size extra small. It does have some stretch, as you can see. Look, it stretches. And um, I had my stylist tighten it a little bit because it, it was a little bit too big up here for me. But you still have to be careful when you're wearing this such that you won't have an inadvertent wardrobe malfunction. But apart from that, I think it's a very simple an elegant gown. What do you guys think? I mean, just take a moment and look at it. So I think it's very fabulous. I think it would be um, fabulous to go for a romantic dinner or just dinner in general, or if you're having a soiree at your house, it'll be fabulous for that. And I decided because it's blue, I decided to go ahead and purple it with this bag that I got the, um, when I was in Europe. I got it a few years ago when I was in Europe. It's solid leather and this is solid wood and it was handcrafted. This is a deeper blue. It doesn't actually quite go with the electric blue of the gown, but I thought it would be nice, especially because I have a genuine sapphire bracelet and 14 karat gold bracelet. And then I have this 14 karat gold and silver uh, on its ring and I also have the matching sapphire gemstone genuine sapphire gemstone earrings and I have multi gemstone necklace and then I have the 14 karat gold and solid black and silver and sapphire tiara I got it from the bank yesterday I'm gonna go and take it back to the bank vault uh, but I figured it would look fabulous with this outfit so comment down below and let me know what you think of this outfit is it fabulous for dinner or what but anyway thank you so much for watching thank you so much for being with us if you have not yet subscribed please do hit the subscribe button here or here depending on where it may be on your screen and please do turn on the notification such that you'll be notified when next I upload the vlog I think I'm gonna shift to uploading on Thursdays Fridays Saturdays and Sundays 
um because in the past i used to upload wednesdays thursdays fridays and saturdays but i think um it's gonna be easier for me to upload thursdays fridays saturdays and sundays okay i hope that schedule is gonna work for you guys as well so till next time that i upload another vlog thank you so much for watching thank you so much for being with us please do remember to stay safe and try to social distance as much as possible kisses kisses from far away kisses from far away kisses from far away care messiah mm.